we are team MC squared and our team number is 53098. The problem we have identified in a product's journey is that using recycled plastics must pass through a broken, wasteful, and costly transportation chain. Please come with us as we follow a water bottle through this lesser known dark side of recycled product cargo. Everyone is familiar with the transportation journey of new products. The continuing of this journey that we will explore with our new solution. This plastic bottle journey is clear as the product is transported to a warehouse, filled box, labeled for shipping, shipped to a store, and placed on shelf. When the drink is done, the container for the liquid is discarded. As Edco's trucks come, this is where we enter the dark and lesser known side of this product's journey. This is what our solution will be addressing. Edco Escondido collects approximately 64 million beverage materials a day. We want to ask Edco to find out what happens as recycled products are sorted and transported. San Diego County Edco sorts 80,000 pounds of recycled material per hour. They fill and trip out 24 containers every weekday. The containers are driven 115 miles to be loaded onto cargo ships and sent to 10 primary countries. Recycled materials are either repurposed or disposed of. According to National Geographic, 91% of all plastic ends up in landfills and waterways, equaling 12 billion metric tons. The University of Utah reports that this broken cargo chain costs the U.S. $100 billion per year. But wait, I thought we were solving a cargo production problem. This looks like a recycling problem. Correct. The recycle problem is a cargo problem. In fact, look where cargo takes place in the supply chain. Wow, that's a lot of cargo. Yes, even Edco says they're looking to address and develop closed-loop domestic markets. Cargo has large financial and environmental impact. Check this out. Using Global Forms, we conducted an online survey about people's perception and understanding of recycling. Perception. 89% of people believe that recycled material is at least 50% recycled. Reality. 9% is recycled. 91% is discarded as trash. Quick detour. We had other ideas at first. All team members were encouraged to present unique ideas and research. Applying the game Story Challenge and Rubric, we evaluated multiple ideas. Using a weighted trade study and point system, team then split into smaller groups for the top ideas and continued with research and prototypes. Using a second weighted trade study, the team voted for the idea of Dark Side of Cargo. We use a variety of in-person and digital platforms for our team to communicate and plan together. In addition, we use Google Drive to collaborate. We had the most fun using Discord since we're able to talk and send pictures to each other. Judges are invited to view our detailed planning calendar on our website. Although team members were able to choose their primary focus throughout each meeting, everyone was active with the project and robot. We all have an ethical responsibility to tackle the dark side of a product's cargo journey. The supply chain of recyclable materials. Team MC Squared wants to revolutionize a portion of cargo trade by closing the consumption loop. By using existing 3D printing technology, our hope is to keep businesses of producing and recycling plastic out of cargo, thus reducing plastic waste, freeing up availability of cargo transport and addressing related environmental hazards. How do we do that? Well, first you need a bath. Then we will shred you into plastic strands using our 3D printed tool. Our prototype will turn you into filaments that we can use in a 3D printer. Bubba, your dream of being repurposed can be achieved. Let's look at our prototype in action. We put the plastic into filament extruder. Plastic emerges as 3D filament ready for use of printing. Look at the possibilities at home. At home or your local library, you can 3D print items like plastic toys and adaptive devices. We had tons of fun making and playing with these example models. The box you just saw was actually the second design, amazing but leaves the circuit boards loose. The first design was too fragile and had the wrong measurements. The final is incomplete but we listed our ideal requirements. We also improved the Bubba bottle shredder. The first was fully 3D printed but caused too much friction and kind of melted itself. We then made a metal one which was better but shredded unevenly. Our coaches made sure no fingers were sliced with these iterations. The final bottle shredder is motorized, which is quicker and smoother. In schools, they use 3D printing to teach in the design process and scale models, as well as develop student environmental awareness. Boeing informed us of many business applications of our idea. Recycling locally can eliminate shipping filament to companies like Boeing, who use it for prototyping. Other companies can sell downloadable files to print rather than shipping physical products. The director of recycling at Edco expressed interest in using our solution idea at his facilities where they are trying to sell recycled products to offset operational costs. We met with other industry professionals to collaborate and seek feedback. Ms. Tian, product manager of 3D Systems Corp, felt the connections between cargo and our project were shaky, which we promptly corrected in our project presentation. Our tour of the Pi Library 3D Printer Lab shows us that many community members can access the 3D printer there for free. We desire to have this project easily accessible. Bubba Slasher will be open sourced on Thingiverse, a website used to share 3D printing projects. People can make their own Bubba Slashers and lessen the impact of recycle exports on the shipping cargo chain. Instead of ordering and restarting the cargo su shipping supply chain, we have the power to disrupt its effects and create a positive impact by cleaning up the cargo supply chain. Feel free to go back later on this slide and observe the financial and environmental impacts of having your own Bubba Slashers at home. Thank you.